today I go to war with the sun. Hi everybody, I'm going to do another thing to this room. I'm going to take care of a problem I'm having with sunlight. I don't want sunlight in this room because it fades all the things in the room. It literally breaks down the molecules that supply the color to things. If you have one or two game systems, it might not be a big deal, but when you have this many of them, you really don't want any sunlight in the room. I've already done some things to block the sunlight in the room. I have two windows. There's one here and there's one on the other side behind the TV. Right now, I currently have cardboard blocking them. You might think, doesn't that look a little ghetto from the outside? But whenever I go out there and look, I don't notice the cardboard at all. It just looks like a ordinary window with a curtain in it. I already live in the ghetto, so it doesn't really matter to me anyway. That cardboard mostly works, but the thing is, some light is getting out from around it because it's not a tight fit. I do want to show you an experiment I'm doing in regards to the sun. Many, many months ago, I taped a PS4 game to the window and it's on the sunny side of the house. And today I'm going to take it out and see what it looks like. And I'm just going to cut apart the tape. And the game I chose to put out in the sun is called Overcooked. I figured with a title like that, it would be a good subject for my experiment. And as you can see, it's very faded. It just goes to show how much fading can affect your game collection. I'm always dismayed when I walk into a video game store that has very wide windows. I walk through the aisles and I see all the sun damaged games. Every single day that goes by that the sun shines in there, they could be doing like, I don't know, $50 worth of damage to the games overall simply because there's so many of them. A lot of collectors are not going to want a complete inbox game that's faded. I know game stores are trying to attract people from the streets and from their cars. They want people to see the games that are inside, but they need to care about what the sun does to their games and I think they need to put curtains up. Let me know if you've been to any stores that have faded games. So today what I'm going to do is improve the sunlight blocking system I have in this room. I'm going to take the cardboard completely out and replace it. And I'm going to do some things to the window to hopefully make the cardboard fit better and to block out the edges where the sunlight's coming out. All right, so first I'm going to move this table and I'm gonna carefully unplug the items. Then I'm going to remove this banner and the flat curtain I have behind it. It just snaps out. There we go. And I need to put this somewhere where the cats won't claw it. As you can see, the cardboard is loose. See a little bit of a gap on the side. I probably cut this about 10 years ago. All right, so let's go ahead and remove it. Oh, wow. That's what the outside world looks like. Huh. It's like virtual reality out there. So just to give you an idea of what I got to work with here, I have a marble ledge and there's kind of a lip where the window raises up. Like that. It's a little bit dirty. Some dead wasps in there. So I'll have to clean that up as part of this process. There's a tiny bit of an edge that I have to work with right here. And that goes along three of the four sides of the window. This window does face the east. So I do get morning sun. It's the afternoon now, which is why there's no sunlight coming directly through the window. I'm gonna let it air out in here and clean up the window. And my cat is very curious. You wanna sit in the window? Look at that. All right, so I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit here. I don't see the inside of this window too often, so I'm not gonna spend all day cleaning it. I'm not gonna bother cleaning the glass either. It just doesn't matter. There's a gutter right here, and occasionally I do hang out the window and with a stick, 
with a curve on the end and I unblock that gutter because sometimes uh, the downspout right over there gets stuck or stopped up. I have another cat that wants to check it out. It's kind of hard for them to sit on that windowsill there. Not very cat friendly. Now here's something cool. I can see an outline of the actual window on this cardboard and you can see along the sides uh, there's kind of like a border of the windowsill down here. I put it back in the window for a little bit so I can show you some of the solutions I'm thinking about. I got this package of sponge tape and all this is is something that seals your windows. It's usually used for insulation. You can see it's just like a, a thick spongy tape. I thought if I put it on the edge of the window, I might be able to A, get the cardboard to stay in better, and B, block some of the light that's going off through the sides of the cardboard. I also got these floor shields. These are just long pieces of plastic that people use to paint the edges of their walls. There's several sheets of it here. I might tack it on to the edge of the window like this. That could also um, make this stay. Now it's really thin plastic, so I think some of the light's gonna come through. Now I also found some real interesting pieces of cardboard here, a corner piece, basically. This would help keep that uh, cardboard in place. Some of you may ask, why are you using cardboard? Why don't you just put up some nice shades and a nice thick curtain? I want the window sections of my game room to be flat and just look like they're not there. By the end of today, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I think the cardboard method is going to work. Now I'm going to recut the cardboard for the two windows. I went out to a community recycling center and found some cardboard. Parts of it are beat up, but other parts are better. Now there is a big grease spot here. If you're watching this video to get ideas about plugging up your windows, I do recommend one of those big TV boxes. You want the fewest number of folds in it as possible. And a TV box, you might be able to get the whole size of the window without any folds. So I'm gonna measure the window and then cut it accordingly. I got both the pieces cut and there's still a fold in the middle of it, but I could not avoid that. But it may actually help me get it into the window if it's too tight. I'm pretty sure I was consistent with the measurements, but you never know when you're cutting cardboard. <laughs> Let's see if it fits. The sides are almost perfectly cut, but there's a little bit on the top that won't go in. I think I am gonna have to maybe take a little bit off the top. Now it may be hard to see, but I'm actually just making little incisions along the top because it's gonna be a little bit too hard just to slice a little bit straight across. But if I make little incisions, I should be able to smush it into the window, if that makes sense. Because this top will be more bendable all right, let's see if it worked. I got the etched end of it uh, on top. And let me see if I can smoosh this in now. This should work. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I didn't make the notches uh, big enough, but I'm gonna start bending them down a little bit here. It's almost going in there. That's what she said. There we go, look at that. I think I might have it. Oh, there we go. Now, that is a tight fit. Let's turn off the lights and see if we can see any sunshine coming out the sides. There is a little bit of it getting through, but not nearly as much as it did before. Computer, lights. Yeah, this bottom piece wants to stick out. 
I think uh, using some of the other things I showed earlier, I might be able to pin that in there. I could take a piece of the cardboard uh, that I showed before and put it right here and that would hold it in, but it sticks out too much. That curtain I showed earlier, I need it to be flat up against the wall and I just wanna disguise the window and hide it basically. Now, I also talked about these things. I don't think these are gonna be strong enough to hold it in. I think I'm gonna use the sponge tape. It'll block it and also help hold in the cardboard. But we'll see how easy this is to work with. Ugh, it smells. Whew, wish I still had that window open. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut a piece. I'm not a sponge tape expert, but let's start off with a little piece. I don't know if I need to do it around the whole inside of the window. And let's see if we can it's slightly sticky on one side, but there's a peel strip on the other. Oh, but that's, that other side isn't sticky at all. But let's see if we can get it to keep this cardboard in down here and then push all the way upward. Ah, it's coming up already. I don't know if this is gonna work. Or right, let's start up here instead. Get a tight bond and then work our way down. Alrighty. That is holding so far, and I'm gonna really press it in now. Looks pretty durable, but I just don't know how sticky the backing is. I'll go ahead and finish up this side. Like I mentioned before, I wanna be able to access this window to clean out the gutter and do, you know, occasionally air out the room or whatever. I'm not gonna try it in this video, but I should be able to pull the cardboard out by pulling it this way now. I think I'm gonna put a little bit down here as well, just enough to keep that cardboard corner from sticking out. So I think I got a good solution here. It's much better than what I had before. We'll see how it holds up over time. Cardboard does absorb moisture, so during the humid months, this cardboard might become heavy and wanna droop out or something. I did have to make a little dent up here to get this corner in, but that has made it very tight. Unlike the other, I can shake this right now and it doesn't fall out. I also think it's cool how there's a footprint right here. There's two footprints. And I don't think these are mine. I think uh, someone who threw these away stepped on them. Also from the outside, I cannot tell that it's cardboard. So I think we have a winner. If you're thinking about doing what I'm doing and you're concerned that your neighbors are going to know you're using cardboard, you can trick them a little bit more by making fake Venetian blinds. And you can do that with masking tape. Now, I almost did that today for the two pieces of cardboard, but I decided against it because it was gonna take too long. And you have already seen, it doesn't look like cardboard from the outside anyway. If you just lay row after row of masking tape, you can create some fake blinds. There's different ways to do it, but if it were me, I would leave little gaps. It kind of gives the illusion that some of them are like uneven or whatever. If you wanted to, you could take a black marker or some other color and just make little lines through the middle just to emphasize the separation between them. This is just a sample piece to show you the concept, but uh, I think it's a cool thing to try. Next, I need to do this window. So I got all this stuff in the way. I'm going to remove the TV and set it aside. And uh, it's gonna be tricky to navigate all these cords, but I think I'll be able to do it. Three HDMI cords I just unplugged. I'll disattach the power cord. Some people have said I should upgrade to a 4K TV. However, what they don't know is that this is already a 4K TV. Not sure why they assume it's not. As you can see, there's quite a lot of wires. So now I need to get to this curtain back here. And we can see that this side is in pretty good shape, but it does pop out a lot on this side. About once a week I have to shove this in and the light from it actually hits this bubble bobble poster right here. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's faded a little bit. You might see me kill myself today if I fall off the ladder. Yeah, I would probably survive though. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realize I have tape holding this in. All right, let's see if I can pull this out. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out of here. I don't wanna have to move the setup, but first I'm gonna untie these wires to give me a little bit more maneuverability. Who knew a game room would be so tiresome? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. You can kind of see the faded effects of the windowsill. Okay, I'm gonna clean the windowsill again. So now I somehow gotta get this back there. I don't think it'll be too hard because I got this bend in it. So first I'll get it all back there and then I'll flip it like this. Okay, let's push through here. Let's push on the other side over here. So far so good. And let's do the notched top. You know what? It fits pretty good except there is a loose part up at the top. Yeah, so this corner is sticking out. I think I'm gonna put that tape up here because Oh, now that I push the bottom in more, it's not sticking out anymore. Just like the other window, I'm going to put this tape down here. For whatever reason, that's always the loose corner. Um, let's do a bigger piece on the bottom here this time. I'm kind of curving this outward a little bit so that it'll be easy to remove the cardboard when I need to service this window. Let's do a bigger piece for right here. I have a feeling one day I'm gonna come in and it's gonna be dangling or something. And we'll put one more strip of it up. Even though the sun is going down, let's go ahead and do a light test. And there's a little bit of light at the top, but I'm not too worried about that because remember it's gonna be covered by the curtain. It's definitely a better fit uh, than what I had before. I put the curtain back up, so let's see if that helped. And right now, I see zero seepage. I'm not ready to close up shop yet because there's a few other things I wanna do to this area before I put the TV back up. I'm going to actually raise the TV up by putting it on some blocks or something so that I have more room to maneuver some of these cords uh, that are underneath it. I got some new equipment, uh, which I might show you in another video. But overall, I think this process turned out better than I envisioned. I have the sunlight 99% blocked and that's pretty good. You may also be wondering why I don't have my glasses on today. I've decided to not do my videos with my glasses on anymore because of the reflections. Uh, it's one less thing I have to think about uh, when I'm doing these videos. I don't really need the, the glasses anyway. I use them when I'm driving. Also, you saw a t-shirt earlier I was wearing in the first half of the video. That is one I made on my own. It has my game systems pictured on it. Just see the shop link in the description. In the long run, I plan on designing other things too, but uh, I think that one turned out pretty well. If you would like to learn more about what's going on in this game room, I suggest you watch the tour I did a little while back. There's a link to it up in the corner of the screen. May your games make you happy and smart, and may people respect you for playing them. So long, everybody. Long live Ouya.